students are wrapping up with their CER. Um, they also just received a small peer editing checklist that each of them are going to use to guide them through the peer editing process uh, for the next part of the okay. Even if you're not done at this time, that's okay, because it is a rough draft. As long as there's something you can be done for your reasoning, that's okay. Most of you have finished, and thank you for waiting patiently while others are wrapping it up. But even if you're not completely finished, at this time we're going to get some peer feedback. Because maybe that feedback would help you even be able to finish your CER anyways. So peer feedback is always really helpful. So before we exchange, here's what we're going to be looking for. So there's three things we're going to be looking for. There's the claim follow the format, the blank, you would insert like the Ogallala aquifer or Folsom Lake has changed over time because, and if it makes sense and it follows that format, you check it out. If there's at least, my mouse has a line of its own. If there are at least three pieces of evidence, you want to check that out. If there's, if there's only two or one, don't check it. And that will give them the indication that, hey, okay, more evidence. Where at least two scientific principles used. So that means they're talking about drought. If they have an aquifer, they're talking about something called aquifer recharge. It could be about consumption, like two people using it for drinking water. So you could say humans, you can say farming, you can say energy. And overall, any additional comments and suggestions? You could say, hey, I really liked your claim, it was really clear. Or you could say, maybe your claim wasn't that clear. How could you make it more clear for me to understand? So any other additional suggestions and comments, go below. You guys are going to have um, five minutes to peer edit. And I want it to be someone not in your group. So if you have to stand up to exchange, I, I want someone that does not have your water source so they can you have to try to convey what you're talking about to someone who doesn't know anything about your water source. So I'll give you guys 30 seconds to find someone there to exchange with that's not in your group.